Hello, Miss Taylor. Hi. My name is Jackie Taylor, and I live uh, at 1040 Old Vander Road. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council Members, for being here and listening. Um, my husband and I bought our home, uh, bought a large parcel of land, um, and built our dream home just this year. We chose this area to get away from the high volume of traffic and enjoy some pure country air. I'm sure you can appreciate our anxiety when we found that Sanderson is trying to move into our backyard. Now, whether it is truly your or my backyard, close proximity or not even close, we all need to be diligent in knowing the facts. We have already heard the main complaints of what will happen or potentially happen. We've been told that our concerns are not valid and that those things that we're so worried about won't come to fruition. We were told that our questions would be answered. This has not been the case. We've been told that the industrial park would be used for industry, jogging, and walking trails. This is not what has happened. Pick Billingsley stood in front of hundreds of people last week and said that there is no smell associated with the slaughterhouse in Kingston and that wouldn't, it would not be an issue here. I regret to say that this is also not the case. I personally went to Kingston. I was asked to go there by local chamber members and CEO Douglas Peters in an attempt to demonstrate how great Sanderson is. This is what I found. And to protect the individuals who are so kind to talk to me, I will not reveal business names or personal names. However, the two businesses immediately in front of the Kingston Slaughterhouse I went to. At the first one, I was told, in fact, there is a terrible sm smell, mostly on hot summer days. The second business I spoke with, four people, all of whom said it smells very bad. One person went so far as to say that the smell made it difficult to simply come and go from their car. The sixth person I spoke with said, no comment. I'll let you to wonder what that meant. If the smell happens here in this community, what are we going to do about it? Well, not a whole lot. I made a complaint today about the smell coming from Valley Protein to Diener's Fayetteville office, and from what I can tell, the smell's not going away. I spoke with Mr. Robert Hayden, an engineer at Diener, and he told me that odor regulation is very difficult to enforce. This being said, and what I was told firsthand from the neighbors of Sanderson's Kingston plant, are you really going to believe that odor is not going to be an issue? I am asking the council tonight, I'm begging you guys to help us. The members, the community of Cedar Creek, by making those who have made promises to our, our community accountable. Let's see the jogging trails. Let's see these promises in writing. If Sanderson is to come here, let's make a stipulation that there will not be chicken houses here. Thank we you. just want it in writing.